Alright you guys, uh, it's Kevin the Full Metal Ginger, and uh, got a little collection update for you guys. Uh, before I do that, I'm just going to let you know that this is uh, probably going to be the last one I'll do for at least a month. Um, the bills coming up this month are going to kick me right in this fucking dick, so uh, unless I come up with uh, some money I'm not expecting to come up with, uh, this is gonna, probably going to be the last bit of new shit you're going to see for a while. So I'm going to have to think of something else to do. I guess we'll figure it out. But, soundtrack today is Absu, the son of Tifereth. Uh, I'll pull it out and show it to you, but um, dude who sent this to me on this car just sent it in a fucking busted jewel case so every time I open it, it just falls apart I'm not gonna fuck with that uh, and uh, also want to thank you guys a lot for uh, you guys really went out and watched that uh, black metal warfare video I did that really kind of took off for me so I really appreciate you guys watching that uh, most of the stuff in this one's not gonna be as you know well, I don't want to say it's underground but you know most of the stuff you've heard of I'd say Pretty much everyone. But I'm just now getting it, so kiss my ass. So here's our nice stack today. And first off, we're going to start with Shitfucker. Suck cocks in hell. Uh, yeah, true to what everyone's talking about it. Uh, this is some dirty, raunchy shit. Um, this was released in 2013. Um, Hell's Headbanger said this is the American version. I, I didn't give a fuck. They had American version and European version, so I just grabbed the first one. Uh, this is the debut full length, if I'm not mistaken. I believe they have one or two others, and the rest is EPs and splits, and I think a demo here and there. Uh, this is some blackened thrash with some punk influences, if you don't know anything about it. Um... Side. I'm not going to try to tell you what that is, but yeah, um, yeah, it really sounds like a fucking 80s thrash demo to me, lyrics, that's about all it is, uh, but it is true to, true to fucking their fame, it's very dirty, very raunchy, very... Sick and depraved. Uh, does feature members of Acid Witch. So that was a big selling point for me and uh, a lot of Venom worship. But it's worth a listen. Uh, if you like fucking really raw shit, go check that out. Shit fucker. Alright, next up. There's another good one. Uh, all this came from Hell's Headbangers, by the way. Like every fucking thing else. Uh, I do order from other places. So I'm getting to it. Uh, I'm going to try to pronounce this album, but uh, this is Unholy Crucifix with uh, Ordo Severum Satane. Fuck, I don't know. Uh, some kick ass black metal from. Fuck, where are they from? I don't remember. Uh, listen to this. It's got a lot of mid temp or uh, a really upbeat tempo. And it's just my personal preference. And it's not the entire album. There are a lot of mid... I think this would sound better if it was more mid-tempo. Just to let the riffs kind of linger around a little bit. Uh, give you something to kind of grasp onto. I mean, it's don't get me wrong, it is catchy and memorable. But to me, it would serve better if it would just slow down a little bit in places. Uh, it's also very, very hypnotic, but then it'll also really pick up and just, uh, it doesn't blast like with a blast beat, but it just, it, it hammers you pretty good, where I think it would serve it better if it was slowed down, but this is some pretty kick-ass shit. I know uh, a lot of you guys really ranted and raved about them, and I'm finally getting around to picking it up. This is their, also a debut full length, from 2012, I think. 12 or 13. Uh, aside from this, and uh, 
the shit. This and maybe a couple other ones. I think they have a pretty extensive discography. They've got quite a bit of shit, but not very many full lengths. So, I don't know. I'll grab a full length just because it's supposed to be the main snapshot of what the band's supposed to be about. That's just my opinion. Uh, here's something that I picked up for cheap, like three bucks. So, and I must have bought the last one because, um, yeah, I looked just the other day just to see if it still had it on there, just to get a little more information about them, but it wasn't there anymore. Uh, before I do that, uh, somebody let me know this is supposedly limited to 500 copies, but there's nothing in here that says it is, so anyway, let me know, guys. Uh, this is Eindig with uh, Dude Shrift. This is some pretty kick ass black metal out of the Netherlands. This is also a debut full length. This came out in 08. And aside from this and I think a uh, split or two and another EP, this is really all they've put out. They've not put out anything since 2013. And they really, really should. This is really good black metal um, out of the Netherlands, if I didn't say that. Um, and this is sort of like that, uh, Gymnus, or whatever the fuck it was I showed in the Black Metal Warfare video, uh, where it has the really high-pitched, whiny, wailing kind of vocals, which I just do not, I'm not into at all. I'm, I'm trying. I'm, it might grow on me eventually, but that just, that fucking bothers me. I just can't listen to it. But this... They actually switch off between that and, like, the, I guess, traditional black metal vocal. Um, shit. Where's I going with that? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. Um, it was released on, like, I don't know. I can't read that. But, yeah, if they ever get this back in, I would definitely check it out, or if you can find it somewhere else. Uh, it's worth a listen, I think. Uh, musically, it's very, very good. Uh, if those kind of vocals don't bother you, then fucking grab that shit. It's fucking kick-ass. That just throws me off a little. And guys, I'm, I'm really fighting heartburn right now, so if I'm struggling, that's probably why. It's tearing me up all, all evening. All right, here is uh, something I should have picked up a long time ago, but this is uh, Invocation Spells, Descendant of... Uh, or, see, Descendant Black... What? Descend at the Black Throne. I never say that right. Uh, you got, you got, these guys are from Chile. Uh, some black and thrash. And, uh, love that photograph there. And my only really complaint about this is I think it would also serve this guy, these guys better. If they were just in the style of music they play and the way their riffs play, the way their beat, their drum beats are and all that kind of thing, it would serve them better if they were more of a black and death band because it would just have more punch. It just feels like it's lacking something. Not in a bad way. I just That's what I would prefer. It's like it would just... I, I really hate to say this because it's a good album, but it just feels... It, I'm, I'm sitting there just wishing it was better. Not better in terms of music, just... It's like it would just sound more intense if it was more of a death metal sound. But it, it's definitely some black and thrash. Uh, this is their sophomore album. This came out... Shit, this did come out last year. What the fuck am I thinking about? I feel like it's been out for fucking ever. Yeah, I had to recheck my notes on that one. Yeah, it's only been out a year. I should have got this last year. I mean, it's, it's 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 definitely good. I'm just my personal opinion. The way the riffs and all that shit flow, it would just. I think it would serve them a little better if they were just a little more punch. Oh uh, shit! Is that their sophomore? Did I say that? Yeah, I'll have to go back and check out the first one see if it's any different. So I don't know. You guys, let me know. See what you think. All right. Uh, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on this band, but I. I Dug it pretty good. Uh, this is Grave Worm, Infernal Minions. Uh, U.S. Black and Death, kind of, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it's their 2013 album. And, uh, 
you want to talk about a band that has a fuck ton of shit in their fucking discography, these dudes have a lot. Uh, um, I don't even remember. I was looking on, it, looking at it through uh, Metal Archives, and uh, yeah, it was a lot of EPs, a lot of splits, a lot of demos, all that kind of shit. Just have lyrics and band photos right thither, and they've been around since '92, so of course they're going to have quite a bit. They've stayed fairly busy since then. And uh, what I really like about this band, at least in the fifth track on it, what was it? Beast of the Abyss. And I listened to this just the other day, and I need to re-listen to it. But it has uh, some weird, like, off-time beats. Like, there's a part where the beat's playing, and the guitar is like a step behind. And I, at first I thought it was like a mistake they'd made in the studio, but they kept doing it. And it was, like, I don't even understand how they're keeping time with that. Crazy. Go listen to it. All right, gotta hurry. All right, next up, uh, I just bought this trying to get into the band. That's a band I've known about for years. I've just, for whatever the reason, never looked at anything, anything they had at all. Never listened to a thing. Uh, but this is Nunslaughter Devil's Conjuries? Conjuries? Volume 1? Uh, yeah, I bought this, and this is probably a good, this is a compilation, this is probably something good just to get into a band. It's a, uh, two disc, and this whole side is from their seven inches, it's a seven inch collection, and this is live tracks from, uh, I think, it was also seven inches, they had a bunch of seven inches, like Hell, uh, Hell on Germany, Hell on France, shit like that, and, uh, uh, you talk, want to talk about a band with a fuck ton of discography. These dudes have so much shit. Oh my god, it's fucking incredible. Uh, just your standard death metal, like in the Possessed style. If you like Possessed, you'll like them if you don't know who this band is. Alright, I gotta run through this quick. Uh, last one. And I've saved probably my favorite for last. Uh, I'm gonna try to pronounce this album too. This is something you all should know. This is uh, Satanic Warmaster with Natsir. Yes. Uh, this is definitely a band I really want to get everything in their discography just because they are the shit or Werewolf is the shit I don't care if it's covered too much though I do like the art but I think it would be better as like uh, the inner booklet I think this is just this alone will make a better cover just pretend none of those song titles are there I think that's that would be so much better but that's just me um this was released, this is the one before Fimble Winter, this came out in 2010, yeah. Uh, what I really liked about it too, it's, it, I know they recorded it live. I mean, it seriously sounds like you're listening to a live recording, just without any crowd noise or anything. It sounds like, it sounds like they set the shit up, set up some microphones and fucking played the album. It's definitely a live album. Does it have all the fucking uh, polish of Fimble Winter? It just sounds really, really good. Very not raw, but just I mean, it sounds like they're in like some little basement club somewhere playing this shit. And uh, yes, I definitely want to pick up everything by them. I don't want to say too much. That everyone should know should know that. So yeah, uh, that's all I got for you. Um, I'm gonna try my best to come up with some ideas, dudes. I've just not been motivated lately to do anything. Uh, I, I do appreciate all of you who watch my videos. It really, really means the world to me. Uh, I never thought I'd get this far without fucking getting frustrated with it and giving up. So you guys are keeping me going. Uh, so yeah, uh, I will try to come up with something we can do. You know, to tide you over till I get some more shit. So unless I come up with money that I don't think I'm going to, this is going to be it on my new shit for a while. But, uh, yeah, we've come up with something. So, um, I really, really appreciate you guys. Uh, so send me a like, send me a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and keep supporting Extreme Fucking Metal.